While New England remains home to a thriving beer scene with more than 700 craft breweries, this is also an industry that is constantly evolving. It's a predominantly male business, and this one is happy woman owned, and it's, it's, it's really cool. It's really, really nice. Amid the hops and malts, a growing number of women are making their mark in what has traditionally been a male dominated space. Nationally, just 2.9% of breweries are fully women owned. The Pink Boots Society is a global nonprofit organization that aims to insist, inspire, and encourage women and non binary individuals in the fermented and alcoholic beverage industry. Organizations like Pink Boots Society are empowering women in the beer industry through education and collaboration. Megan Sullivan is the Boston chapter's president. Through the work of Pink Boot Society and honestly passionate individuals that want to see a change in the industry, it's only grown over the past year. So I'm lucky to live in a state where, you know, I can drive down the street and most likely the brewery is woman owned. That road today leads us to Danvers, Massachusetts and Twisted Fate Brewing. We came opening weekend and we had no idea about the brewery or the families who owned it and it's, it's been great. I'm so supportive of them. This brewery falls into the majority female-owned category. It's run by siblings Dave and Kim, along with their significant others, Erica and Bill. Here, it's all in the family. We opened um, our doors in April of 2022, and this is our family-owned, family-run brewery. The four of us are the owners, and we all bring something different to the table. Well, my husband is the brewer. We get to call the last shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right. Their journey began like so many others, with a deep love for beer. It really started over a lot of beers between the four of us. For years, we would talk about the idea of someday opening a brewery and someday opening a brewery together. They've pushed the envelope when it comes to flavors. All the beer is made right here. So we brew it, we ferment it, and then we package it right in this room, and it goes in the cooler behind you when we're done. That cooler filled with brews like flavorful stouts and rotating sours. So we have a wide range. Kind of, you could call it the rainbow of beers, but as far as color is concerned. But year round, one of our stouts, our peanut butter stout is Match Made in Heaven, is a year round, like one of our best selling beers. There is a brew for every palate. Have a taste and let me know. With a welcoming environment for all who enter. Beer is not just like a man's world, it's for everybody and there's so many different types of beers. You know, there's something for everybody. This mission is echoed by Throwback Brewery in Northampton, New Hampshire. It's something where you feel comfortable, you feel at home when you come here. This brewery, a trailblazer in the industry, is owned and run by Nicole Carrier and Annette Lee. My co-founder Annette and I started home brewing early 2000s. He was throwing all these ideas by me, a lot of them pretty funny. One was a great idea, which was starting a brewery and go back to like 2010, we found a little warehouse spot and uh, just started home brewing. Nearly 15 years later, Throwback remains the only 100% women owned brewery in all of New Hampshire. When we first started, I think it was a real surprise that women had opened up a brewery, but as soon as word started getting out, we've had so much support, especially from the women. You've heard of farm to table dining, but what about farm to glass drinking? They've also made a name for themselves with their sustainable approach to brewing. One of our most important missions and visions was to try to source everything from within 200 miles. And it's hard, but we think it's worth it. From the grill to the tank stored inside a converted barn, nearly every ingredient sourced locally, adding a native, yet as I found out, also very unique flavor profile to Throwback's beer. We have so many different beers, it was hard to pick Okay. For you. From light and fruity. We have a blonde ale with real watermelon in it. It's called Watermelon Blonde. You gonna turn me into a beer drinker? I'm gonna turn you in, that's my goal, all right? Turn you into a beer drinker. That's light. It's, it's refreshing. Light. Light and refreshing, yes. To a fiery pilsner. Are you feeling a little spicy? I'm always feeling All spicy. All right, I'm always feeling spicy too, <laughs> okay. which is great. This is called Spicy Bohemian. It's our pilsner, and we grow jalapenos, we roast them, and then we put them in the beer. This is a spicy beer. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to a little spice. Now, as more women step into leadership roles at breweries across the region, they're helping to redefine the industry one pint at a time.
Let's talk about Throwback Brewery yeah. a little bit and their building. As we heard, they really are very dedicated to sustainability. All the tables are made from wood from the farm. The bathroom stalls are made from old sheep, converted from sheep stalls. And 36% of the electricity comes from rooftop solar panels. So they are all in. They are all in. Converted sheep stalls. Converted sheep stalls. Okay. Actually, the bathrooms were really cool. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Reason enough to go, perhaps. Coming up, bringing a taste of Europe to New England.